Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. If you're new here, if you're returning, then it's so nice to have you back. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about last week. I was a little bit sick, not COVID, but <laughs> I decided to take a little bit of a break from filming and from practicing in general. So today we are back and we're going to be moving through a vinyasa flow. Um, the only thing I can say about it is that there are going to be a few side planks, but other than that, it's going to be pretty normal. So you don't need anything necessarily, but if you're used to practicing with blocks, maybe you want to grab those or maybe a strap if you like that assistance in any stretches. Otherwise, all you need is yourself and your mat. All right, so that being said, let's get started in child's pose. So we're just going to make our way there, knees wide apart, feet together or toes together. You can also bring your knees together if that's more comfortable. And then let's bring the forehead down on the mat and reach the fingertips forward. And close your eyes for a moment. And just release anything that happened today. So leaving the past in the past, leaving the future in the future, none of it matters right now except for the present moment. So let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth to encourage the body to let go. And two more deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And one more deep inhale. And exhale, release. Now breathing in and out of your nose, engaging ujjayi breath to create that internal energy. So try to restrict the back of your throat. Imagine you're fogging up a mirror, but with your mouth closed. Let's take a few breaths here. And you can start to activate your child's pose, reaching through the fingertips and then pulling your hips back, stretching your spine in both directions. On your next exhale, let's walk both hands over to the right, stretching the left side of your body. Take three breaths here. And keep pulling your left hip back towards your left heel. If you want deeper, you can bring your left hand over the right hand. Otherwise, just both hands next to each other is fine. And on your next inhale, walk your hands back through center, reach them forward, and then exhale over to the left. Next inhale, let's come back through center child's pose. And then we're slowly going to come up into tabletop, stacking shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. Now you can keep your eyes closed if you want to focus more on the movement. We're going to come into cat and cow. So breathing in, dropping the belly, pulling the chest through, and then exhaling one vertebra at a time to round your spine and press away from the mat. A deep breath in to open up the heart, gaze forward. Exhale to round your spine, hollow the lower belly. And then focus more on your breath here than anything else. Take two more breaths here. And one more deep breath in to open. And exhale to round. 
All right, inhale, let's come back to a neutral spine. Let's reach the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle without dropping your right shoulder. So just reach over to the left. Inhale to open. Exhale for four, reach. Inhale, open. Exhale for three. And activating those obliques, which we're going to need for two, breathe out. And one. As you breathe in, come into modified side plank. So lift that right leg, kick it out. And right arm reaches up. On your exhale, you can drop your right foot. It's gonna come back on my mat. Drop your right foot down and then press into your right foot, left hand. See if you can lift your left knee into the chest and just hold it here. And one more breath. And then let's slowly release that left knee, come back to tabletop. On your inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, thread the needle for five. Inhale to open. Four. Three. Two. And one. Modified side plank. As you reach the left arm up, kick your left leg back and hold. Kick through the left heel, flex the left toes. And now let's drop that left foot. Press into the left foot, right hand. Pick your right knee up. Firmly press down into the mat with your left foot. So trying to bring weight into that left foot and not only in the right hand. And on your next exhale, release the right knee. Come back to tabletop. Let's turn our fingers out so they point towards the outer edges of the mat. And you can just rock side to side, maybe adding some circular motions or just side to side, whatever you prefer. And now coming back through center, we're going to turn the fingers so they point towards each other, palms face up, so like that. Deep breath in, and then exhale, squeeze your hands into fists, and then open. And again, squeeze, and open. And squeeze and hold as hard as you can for three. Squeeze harder, two, and one, and release. Come back to tabletop. Let's tuck the toes, send the hips back and up, downward facing dog. And you can take your time to walk it out. So pedaling out the feet, moving the hips side to side, maybe shaking out the head, maybe lifting and lowering the heels, whatever feels good. And we have about two more breaths here. And now keeping the spine straight, on an inhale, let's come into high plank. Exhale, bend your knees, send your hips all the way back to your heels. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, straighten the legs, high plank. Three more. Last two. And last one. Inhale, high plank. Side plank on the right hand, but the left foot stays in front of the right foot. Left arm reaches up, breathe in. On your exhale, let's thread the needle, but come onto the balls of your feet if you can. Left arm reaches under right shoulder. For five. Four. Three. Two. 
one. Exhale, high plank, and switch sides. Right arm reaches up, right foot is in front of the left. Exhale, thread the needle, square the hips for five. Four. Three. Two. And one, I think. Exhale, back to high plank. Your vinyasa, feel free to bring the knees down for the first one. Maybe bend the elbows, drop chest and chin down. And slide through baby cobra. Exhale all the way back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, let's come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift again. Pause here. Let's bend the left knee, keep the right leg straight. Left fingertips stay down on the mat. And then right arm reaches up. And you can either stay here or bend your right elbow behind your back. Maybe hold on to the inner left thigh or right hand is just flat on your lower back. Now, if you have a bind, inhale, let's reach the right arm up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale, right fingertips stay down on the mat, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg and reach the left arm up. Either stay here or repeat the bind on the other side. And on your next inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, high mountain with a flat back or rolling up, whatever you prefer. Let's cactus the arms, press the hips forward, open up the heart. Inhale, back to high mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float back through your chaturanga, high plank to low plank, or any other variation of vinyasa that you prefer. All the way back to downward facing dog. Let's take three sun salutations. Inhale, come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. High mountain rise. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hand, step or float back. Your vinyasa. Back to downward facing dog. Two more at your own pace. All right, let's cactus the arms, adding a little bit of a heart opener. Fold forward. And last one at your own pace. Breathe in, come high up onto the toes, bend the knees, step or float. back in downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths here, just noticing how you're feeling, the heat in the body. Taking the time to reconnect to your breath. And on your next inhale, let's lift the right leg up high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. And then maybe reach your left arm up towards the sky. Maybe kick your right, your right leg out and hold. All 
Again, let's re-bend that right knee. Left hand comes back down on the mat. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your left knee down. Anjanasana. Let's reach the arms above the head and hold. On your next exhale, let's twist to the right. Left elbow hooks the right knee and hold. And now making sure your left toes are tucked, let's lift that left knee off the mat. On your next inhale, caress and lunge and hold. And then let's step that left foot a little bit closer, straighten the right leg, breathe in, breathe out, fold forward, pyramid pose. And your right toes can always stay flat down on the mat or you can flex them, whatever you prefer. And next inhale, halfway lift. Let's bend that right knee. Left hand plants down on the mat, side plank. Normal side plank, right foot is over the left. And on your next inhale, let's bring the right hand down on the mat, high plank. Exhale, your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Send it back. Knee to nose. Send it back. And left knee, right elbow. Pause here. See if you can drop your right heel. Maybe lift that right arm up. Maybe kick the left leg out and hold. And I'm shaking. Let's bend the left knee. Right hand comes back down. Three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps between your hands. Drop the right knee down. You can keep your right toes tucked. Anjanasana. And hold. And exhale, let's twist to the left. Hands to prayer. Right elbow can hook the left knee. On your next inhale, let's lift that right knee off the mat and hold. And breathe in, crescent lunge, three more breaths. And then let's step the right foot a little bit closer, straighten the left leg. Exhale, twofold. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to bend that left knee. Maybe scoot the right foot a little bit further back. Plant your right hand, and then let's come into side plank on the right hand. And really engage the obliques. Push the hips up as high as you can. On your next exhale, come back to high plank and your vinyasa, which is optional, of course. If your wrists are a little bit sore, you can always take a child's pose. All right, inhale, come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. High mountain, rise up. Exhale, cactus the arms, open up the heart. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, your optional vinyasa. Step or float back through high plank. Come into cobra or upward facing dog and downward facing dog. 
Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Send it back. Knee to nose. Send it back. Right knee, left elbow. Maybe kick it out. Exhale, left hand comes back down on the mat. Three-legged dog. Inhale. Step your right foot between your hands. Drop the left knee down on Janasana. One breath, one movement. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lift the left knee. Next breath in, crescent lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Halfway lift, inhale. Bend your right knee, plant the left hand. Now side plank, maybe the right leg stays in the air. Exhale, back to high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Send it back. Knee to nose. Send it back. Left knee, right elbow. Maybe kick it out. Exhale, right hand comes back down on the mat. Three-legged dog. Step your left foot between your hands. Drop the right knee down on Janasana. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift the right knee. Exhale here. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the left knee, plant the right hand. Side plank, inhale. Exhale, high plank, your vinyasa. On your next inhale, come into a uh, lift your heels off the mat, come onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose, and hold for five. Hollow the lower belly. Squeeze your knees together. Bring the weight into the backs of your feet. On your next inhale, stand up tall. Right knee into the chest. Left hand can hold onto the outer blade of the right foot. Maybe kick it out, maybe keep the leg bent. Right arm reaches back and twist. And on your next inhale, look forward. Keep your right leg in the air. If it's bent, kick it out and reach the arms up. And on your next exhale, let's step back, airplane lunge. So the arms reach back, step your right foot as far as you can. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the left. And on your next inhale, come back to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, open up and hold. For five. And on your next exhale, left fingertips find the floor, right arm reaches up, side angle pose. From here, reverse your warrior and hold. And on your next exhale, cartwheel your hands down. The right hand stays planted. Maybe the peace fingers of the left hand wrap around the left big toe. Side plank, maybe holding that left leg, maybe extending it up. And now let's let go of that left foot. And then slowly bend the left knee, come into wild thing, and hold. So we're going to flow through this. We're just going to hold it on the left side, and then we're going to flow. 
on your next exhale, come into high plank, optional vinyasa, all the way back to downward facing dog. Five breaths here. On your next inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, airplane chair and hold. And so keep lifting the arms as high as possible behind you. Squeeze your knees together. And now let's drop the heels. High mountain, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Left knee lifts into the chest. Right hand holds onto the outer blade of the left foot. Let's kick it out. And it doesn't have to be the foot. It can also be the knee. And on your next inhale, look forward. If your leg is bent, let's kick it out and hold. And next exhale, lean forward, airplane lunge, step your left foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, ground your left heel and hold. And this is the perfect time to reconnect to your ujjayi breath, to really try to lengthen those inhales and exhales. And now the right fingertips find the floor for side angle pose, left arm reaches up. You can always reach it over your left ear, whatever you prefer. And next inhale, reverse your warrior. On your exhale, let's cartwheel both hands down to the mat. Come onto the outer blade of your left foot. Right piece fingers can hold the right big toe. Let's come into side plank. Maybe straightening out the right leg. Keep lifting your hips as high as you can and hold. Now let's let go of that left leg, bend, oh sorry, right leg, bend the right knee, come into wild thing. And next exhale, high plank, and optional vinyasa. Five breaths here and then we're going to flow through that one time. All right, let's go. On your next inhale, let's lift the heels up high. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, right knee into the chest. Exhale to twist. Look forward, release the right leg, reach the arms up, breathe in. Exhale, airplane, lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, breathe out, side angle pose. 
Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Left peace fingers, grab the left big toe. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, wild thing. You don't need to grab that bind. Inhale here. Exhale, your chaturanga. Breathe in, up dog or cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Inhale, come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or float, halfway lift. Exhale, twofold. Chair, inhale. Exhale, airplane chair. Drop the heels, left knee comes into the chest. Exhale, two twist. Inhale, unwind, keep the left leg in the air. Exhale, airplane lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale here, exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Side plank, inhale with or without the bind. Exhale, wild thing. Breathe in here, breathe out. Your chaturanga. And in your downward facing dog, let's take a deep full breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. One more deep breath in and exhale, release. Now let's drop both knees down on the mat for child's pose. You can bring your forehead down. Hands can be either out in front of you or by your feet. Now let's take about five more breaths here. slowly reach your arms forward and in whatever way you want let's come back to downward facing dog so if you want to take cobra upward facing dog whatever feels good we meet in down dog and maybe pedaling out the feet once again All right, we're going to take a deep breath in, come high up onto the toes, exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, twofold. Now chair pose, inhale. Exhale, let's twist to the right. We're going to try taking an arm balance. You can stay here or you can lift your heels and sit onto your heels. And then bring your hands off the mat to the right. The right elbow can connect to the right hip just for the beginning. As you get more comfortable, you can disconnect it. Left elbow connects to the right knee. Now you want to lift your weight and place it on your elbows like a shelf. So don't think of going that way. Think of lifting and going down, if that makes sense. So lifting the hips. All right. Maybe placing the weight into your right elbow and then see if you can lift your feet. And you can just keep your legs bent Ooh. or straighten them or separate the legs, whatever you prefer. Play around and maybe just keep the legs bent today and then we're going to come back here. So I'm just going to wait for five. Three, two, and one. Let's meet here. On your next inhale, come back to chair. Exhale, twist to the left. Same thing, maybe lift those heels. Bring your hands down on the mat. Think of chaturanga arms. And then you can float.
let's slowly meet here. Once you're here, try to drop your heels with or without the help of the hands. And then let's drop the hips. Extend your legs out in front of you. Remove the flesh from the sit bones. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, twofold forward, keeping the core active. So really hollowing the lower belly, reaching the chest towards your feet. And let's hold. And slowly, one vertebra at a time, you can roll up. Let's bring the hands just behind the hips, fingers point towards the feet. Legs can stay straight or you can bend them. Let's come into reverse plank or reverse tabletop. So if you're in reverse plank, pull with your heels. So pull with the heels, try to bring the toes down to the mat and lift. And let's hold for five. Squeeze the glutes, the calves, if you, if you cramp. You can bend your knees for three, two, and one. Slowly come down. A little bit of a cramp. All right, let's bend the knees one vertebra at a time. Come all the way down to your back. And in constructive rest, you can just keep your feet mat distance apart. The knees knock in together. Maybe knock your knees side to side just to release some tension. All right, let's bring the knees into the chest. Grabbing opposite hand to opposite wrist, keeping your sit bones grounded and your shoulders grounded. So, I mean, not the sit bones, the tailbone. If you can grab opposite hand, opposite elbow, but still keep your shoulders on the mat, that is fine. But if you feel like you're lifting, then grab a little bit less tight. On your next inhale, let's extend to both legs up towards the ceiling. Maybe point and flex the toes or roll out the ankles. And then we're going to bend the knees, either grab happy baby, or if you know you already want to extend your legs, maybe grab peace fingers around the big toes instead of the outer blades of the feet. And let's first come into happy baby, bending the knees, pulling the knees down into the shoulders. Maybe you're side to side, and then you can decide. You either stay here, or you can open up the legs if that feels good. We didn't do much for the legs today, so don't be too eager to go too, de too deep too quickly. We didn't stretch it that much. Just whatever feels good. Let's stay here for five more breaths. And slowly re-bend the knees if they aren't already and bring the legs together. And let's bring both knees to the right. Now the left leg can stay bent or right hand can hold on to the outer blade of the left foot and extend. Left arm can reach out to the left. Look straight up and try to breathe space into your chest. Feel the effects of the twist along your spine. And most importantly, start to relax, to let go of your breath, to soften the body. Let's 
Slowly re-bend the knees, come back through center, and same thing other side. So you can keep your knees bent, or once again, left hand can grab the outer blade of the right foot, and you can straighten out the leg for that T-bend stretch here. Let's bring the knees into the chest one more time. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then when you're ready, you can come into Shavasana. Extending your legs out in front of you, your arms alongside you. And let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And another deep breath in. And let it go. And allowing yourself to completely relax. And noticing if you can feel the after effects of the practice in the body. Each exhale, allow yourself to relax and let go of even more tension. I invite you to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you want to today. You deserve it. It was a sweaty practice, as you can see. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that um, it energized you, that you're ready for the day ahead. This is definitely a morning practice, not really an evening one, but you do you. Um, if you did enjoy it, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you have any requests for next classes, you're always more than welcome to leave your suggestions down below. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. So thank you so much. And I will definitely see you next week. Um, and yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Namaste.